Today I'm going to be doing some rust repair on a radiator cover. Um, the windows, I believe, were left open for an extended period of time in this home. And water has dripped on these covers and they are quite rusty. Um, but rather than replacing them, I'm going to try to refinish them. So I've color matched it with this Rust-Oleum. It's an appliance epoxy that is pretty rugged. I took a piece off the radiator and did a test spray right up here and it matches well. So I feel pretty confident that I've got the color nailed down as a, a bone white. But I'm going to try to remove the rust first with um, well, the sandpaper is not very, really good on that, so I'll probably just use this on my drill. So I'm going to try that and we'll see how the project comes along. So I've attached the grinder stone to my cordless drill. And then I'm just going to be going along trying to get to the bare metal, as you can see right here. Um, if it focuses correctly, um, that's what you want this to look like. So, it's easier for me to do this with two hands, so I'm going to put the camera down now, but you can kind of see this is what we're after, a smooth finish that we can spray paint over. Okay, this is what it looks like after I've sanded down the rust uh, there's a little bit in there that I didn't get out but overall it's pretty smooth and so now my next step after I tape the paint is to spray this on and to let that dry and then I'll paint my top coat um, whenever you're spraying inside you want to make sure you have plenty of ventilation a mask is generally required. I have a fan blowing directly out the window above where I'm going to be spraying so I think that will help but you definitely want to be careful uh, whenever you use spray paint inside a house and there's always the chance of overspray too so tape your area off very well before you start. So now that I have my area taped off and I have napkins underneath a roll of paper towel, I can begin spraying just gently, gentle strokes to cover up all this. This will be my primer coat. So, so I'm going to make a few more passes on that, let it dry, and then try my top coat. Okay, now that the paint, uh, the primer has dried, I'm going to be applying the Rust-Oleum bone colored epoxy. I'm just going to be taking easy sweeps back and forth, maybe 12 inches away or so, and um, I'll probably overlap this a little bit to try to blend it, um, and we'll see how it comes out. Again, just nice, easy strokes. Don't lay it on too thick or heavy. But you can see how that, that's blending fairly nicely. You can also see, perhaps, uh, all the fumes, which, again, I have this fan set up over here to blow most of those fumes right out the window. Ventilation is key when you're using spray paint indoors. coming out coming out good you hear here's the final product I'll take the tape off in a little bit but this is the same window that had water dripping on the radiator causing rust and now it looks really nice so we just saved a lot of money that we would have had to spend replacing 
the heater covers. Thanks for watching the video. Okay, I've sanded down the rusty area on the, this cover. I've put protective tape, blue tape, and some napkins down. So I'm going to begin spraying the rust primer. And I'm just going to be making thin, thin sweeps directly over the metal. And I'm going to continue doing that over all the bare metal and the rusty metal. And then I'll put the final coat on. So here's what this looks like after we've applied the black primer. I'm going to let it dry and let the room vent a little bit before I put on the top coat. Okay, now that the primer is dried, I'll be putting on the appliance epoxy spray over where I just primed and you can see here that it matches up really well I'm just taking short strokes and trying to feather to blend it in just turn the can a little bit at the end of the strokes and it will go on nicely so I'm gonna put the camera down now and focus on this and I'll show you how it looks and here's the final product. We took a cover that was all rusted right in this area and we made it look good again. That's what it's all about. And we saved money by not having to replace the covers. So I ran out of spray paint. I'm going to do one more coat but it'll essentially be look like this. I'm going to let the room vent because the fumes are pretty heavy in here. Make sure you always have adequate ventilation whenever you do this and wear a mask.